I guess we don't talk about those kind of things that you know that are really important to us because um, because um, I don't want to be thought of as like nothing more than a PC band. You know, I mean we're entertainers. <laughs> you know, that's what music is, and so. It's it's really hard to you know step over the lines. You know, it's that you have so much power because that camera's on you. <laughs> you, you can use it. <laughs> I know you're gonna dig this. Get get fu get funky with me. I've just, I've just noticed that people expect, expect more of a thematic angle with, with our music. You know, they always want to read into it. And before, I was just using pieces of poetry and just, just garble, just garbage. You know, just stuff that just would spew out of me at the time. And a lot of times, when I write lyrics, it's just at the last second because I'm really lazy. So, and then I'm, I find myself having to come up with explanations for it. You know, so I thought I'd. You know, prevent that this time, and, and actually have an explanation for some of the songs, at least. There's a lot of baby references in all the songs. I I, I didn't think there would be, but you have like wombs, babies, <laughs> baby's breath, baby throw up. Every baby, baby throw up. Baby, there's baby everywhere. Lying. Is that this is a, obviously has become a, a huge part of your life? It it has been a part of my life before. Courtney was even pregnant, though. I've always been just fascinated with medical texts and charts, and I guess I secretly want to be a doctor or something. I don't know. Yeah. What about that walk? Did you see that? I said it is some kind of music. Did I, did I use hip-hop? Did I use rock? I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. I'm filming it right now. What's going on, everyone? Here I am at the top of the Hollywood Heights here in Hollywood, California. This is a location I've always wanted to get to. That right behind me, that's an elevator. That's an elevator on a street. And this neighborhood is only accessible by elevator. I've always wanted to come here. It's been about 10 years, way before YouTube, that I've wanted to come here. And I'm finally here. I'm about maybe a quarter of the way. Maybe I'm only steps away. I could be a mile away. Kurt Cobain's house is right up here. Everyone, if you've watched my channel, you know I'm a huge Nirvana fan, huge Kurt Cobain fan. This is a dream come true to finally see this house in person. I don't know what I'm gonna find. I don't know what I'm gonna see. Maybe I should have some backup with me. And fortunately, I do. Michael from the Grim Life Collective. Have you seen his channel? What? You have? You haven't? If you haven't, you should. Grim Life Collective. 
He's actually like this in person. He's very tall and it's somewhat emasculating because I'm used to being the tallest person around. That's why I'm going to raise my hair. Yeah. So, Michael, you moved from Orlando to Hollywood and you're crushing it. We've, Jessica and I both have been wanting to live here our entire lives. And we've been here for probably about four months. And we're currently putting out videos every single day because there's just so much amazing stuff to do yeah. here. And then get to run into people like you. Yeah, we, just, we literally just ran into each other on the street. Right? Yep. We're running. Yep, yep, we're exchanging insurance numbers soon. Yep. No, we've had this set up for a while. We've been talking for <laughs> almost a year, about maybe off and on. Yeah. About a year and a half. I did Jeepers Creepers locations out in Florida about two or three years ago. And then you did them after me, and you did a better job. And I, I think this when we started talking. It was around right. that time. Yep. We were talking about Jeepers Creepers. So... Thank you. Yeah, you did. You did. Because I, I screwed up. Because I screwed up with the meat pack. But I went back and corrected it. I went all the way back out of my way just to correct that one stupid meat packing plan thing. Because <laughs> like you, we want to get things right. Right? We become obsessive over yes. it. You have yeah. to get it. If you know it, if you know it's there, you got to visit it. Yeah, we've been talking about this. We get obsessed with little things and we, we want to finish. We want to do the video right. But yeah, so we've been talking and we always want to do a collaboration. So here we are. We're going to go see Kurt Cobain's house. Grim Life Collective. Subscribe to share below. I will put a link below. Uh, he has a lovely wife, Jessica. She's in a lo lot of his videos. And uh, guys, it's Michael from Grim Life Collective. Scott. And I know a lot of you know him because I've seen you in his live chats. Right after mine and you go to his. <laughs> <laughs> so now when you watch his live chats, go back and watch mine. Go back in time. Well, I usually leave them up. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's enough. Let's go to Kirk Cobain's house. So take a look at this house. This was in a very famous movie called The Long Goodbye of the Philip Marlowe series, a detective, but we're not here for Philip Marlowe. Are we? No, we're here for Kurt. K-U-R-D-T. Kobe. There's the house just in the background. Michael, I would like to say one thing right now. This is, yeah. we're both filming. Out of all the videos you and I and Reese have done in this house, this wasn't as bad of a walk as I thought it was going to be. I feel like we cheated a little bit. Uh, did we? I feel like we did. Like I've watched we're a here. bunch of videos on how to get here. And everybody else took the long route, and we were smart about it. We did our research, and I thought we took the. I thought we just took the long route too. I don't know what, but this is it. This, this is Kurt Cobain's house. This is the in utero house right here. Isn't and this nuts? My knees always shake whenever I come up on places yeah. like this. That's how oh. much I love visiting. Yeah. It's all, Look at your face. It's awesome, right? Eh? This is cool. This is, we're here. This is music history right yeah. now. Wow. See right here, Alta Loma, high up in the hills. This is Kurt Cobain's house. We're gonna show you what we can show you. Maybe we can show you more than we thought we could show you. Whatever we show you though, is what you're gonna see. So you can line up a lot of these windows with shots of Kurt Cobain inside the house. Now, they only lived here a short period of time, but they lived in an apartment on Spalding Avenue in the Fairfax uh, district. I've done a video from there before. Sorry, it's very early. I'm a little mush mouth. And uh, when they went on a short tour, he put all his guitars and his writings that he'd been working on into the bathtub to store them there in the Spalding apartment. And it flooded. So it was ruined. So what he had to do was restart. And this is where it was. He was living here with uh, Courtney, some nannies, and Francis Bean. So we were, I was just over here, what you were saying, something that I was just about to say as well. So when the infamous Vanity Fair article was written that set off so much, so much anger amongst Kurt and Cordy and uh, the fans, Frances Bean was actually taken away from this house. Correct. Yeah, and then she was returned to them. But she, the article in Vanity Fair said that they were drug users and using drugs with while Frances Bean was around. And yeah, so this house... A very tumultuous time. Tumult, tumult, can you say that word? Tumultuous? Thank you. Time. Thank. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of teeth <laughs> in this house. Here's Kurt Cobain's backyard right here. It's a really great house. Now, they used to say that Kurt and Courtney would listen to the concerts from the Hollywood Bowl, which is just around the corner. Straight ahead, actually, is where the Hollywood Bowl is from this uh, spot here. That would be 
I guess the back door? Hard to tell, the back door and a side door. We have a swinging open door right there. And Patty Schemmel, the drummer from Hole, lived here, you were saying. Yeah, so Patty Schemmel from the, the drummer of Hole. Uh, some even said that she could have very well been, if she wanted to, the drummer for Nirvana. They, right. they loved you know, each other that much. But there's a documentary that um, I don't know if she put out or if she was the main person. She's, for a, it. she's the focus of Hit So Hard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And in it, she says that she was living in this house with them on the second floor in the guest room. And her room connected to uh, Kurt and Courtney's bedroom via a bathroom. And from everything I can find online, that second floor, it's just two rooms and the bathroom. And that's pretty much. There, there's a video out there where somebody's like. They walked through the house and they said, oh, this was Francis Bean's nursery. They never had a nursery. No, there was no nursery it's only, here. Yeah, it's, and it's just people doing guesswork, which is fine, you know, as long as people are out there exploring. Yeah. But from everything I could find, Courtney, Kurt, and Francis all shared the same room. And yeah. Probably one of the reasons why um, children's services were kind of ticked off about everything. You know, they get in there and they see this and... Well, I mean, especially, I, I don't think the photographs from the Spaldi department were released while they were here, but those are pretty damning right. photographs of stuff that was left behind. Some drug paraphernalia, and, a, and it was an absolute mess. And I believe two nannies live with them here. Yes. I can't remember their exact, I think Bree was one, I'm not sure. Nirvana fans, you'll correct me, I'm sure, below. But the two of their nannies were living here in this house. So Michael's detective work, his, he was thinking that the couple of photos we have of Kurt Cobain were taken in that window there. I'm gonna, because there's more room. That's a very small room there. So when he's sitting with his back to the window, it's probably that one right there. That's what we're thinking. There's a fireplace right ahead. So that room that I was just showing you would be right through there to your right, through those doors to your right. It's where I think those photographs of Kurt were taken. A lot of crazy things happened inside this house. There was a lot of stuff going on uh, when they were here during the in utero times. I've read that Kurt would often lock himself in the closet in the bedroom, and that's where he would do a lot of his writing. Not all of the songs for the, the album in utero were written here, even though this is considered the in, in utero house. At least four of them were written a couple years before that. It's just this was a part of his life where everything just kind of came together. And it was only a short amount of time spent here. See, there is a bit of graffiti right here. France 98. A mouse trap. But this would be the side door, I think. Yeah, it's really sketched to walk along there right now. Does not look safe at all. Without being inside, we're getting good shots. That's the way I'm looking at it. I'm just gonna show you down these steps around the backyard. It's pretty steep here. And it just drops right off. This is the backyard of Kurt Cobain's house. Really excited to finally be here. Gotta be very careful for walking across this because it doesn't look like it's very sturdy, but I'm walking on the beams. Here's the bookcase right here. There's the bookcase. This bookcase right here, there's a famous well, a photo of Kurt standing in front of it, uh, drawing on his stomach. I think it says wet girl. You can see this bookcase behind him. Isn't that wild? It's crazy to see. Still here, this bookcase. And there's the steps. And if we go look up the steps here. Definitely looks like some people have been here partying recently. Cigarettes, lighters, uh, uh, beer can straight ahead. But it's a scroll. Yeah. But there's upstairs right there. So one of these would have been Kurt and Courtney's yeah, bedroom. Straight ahead. There's a couple of 
shots inside the house right here. This is inside Kurt Cobain's house. So there's that famous bookshelf right back there. What else should I be? like an old fridge here with an ice maker. Great room, great room to play music. What's in here? Nothing. Didn't even have to touch anything, it's just wide open. That door right there was where Patty Shemmel stayed, the guest room, over here in the corner. For Courtney Love and Kirk Cobain and Francis Beemore. Pretty wild. So I'm thinking, Michael, you're correct about the window. This would be the window right here. What you said. Yeah. Where there would have been a couch. So let's see if we can line it up. I'm just going to point it out like random, not randomly, but just kind of general vicinity. Our suspicions were correct. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, you go ahead, go ahead. Our suspicions were correct. This is the window right here. That photo of Kurt Cobain sitting on the couch. Right in front of this window, look at that. And here we go, bookshelf right here. here. How awesome is that? So there's a side bathroom in the back here. That's the doorway I showed you before. Obviously the place is abandoned, but there's all kinds of different scribbles and graffiti. Serve the servants right there. That's a Nirvana song from In Utero. So somebody's, somebody's written that right there. That's a Nirvana happy face here. Crazy cool, right? Yeah, this is amazing. I'm geeking out big time now. Knowing that Kurt was standing right here is just too crazy. Thank you. A lot of people written. Speedy was here. Connor Wells. Shout out to Connor Wells. What, what? Class of 92? I have no idea. Nice big fireplace. I think this would be Kurt and Courtney's bathroom, uh, bedroom here, the bigger one. The big walk-in closet. Kurt and Courtney's room. And Francis right here. Yeah, people thought there was a nursery for a France Bean. This is it, there's two rooms. It's a two bedroom. I mean, there might be something else downstairs. Like for like in that bigger room, they could have had something set up, but no. This is Patty's room. This is Patty's room? So yeah. Wrong. Yeah, I was just correcting myself too. So this is Patty's room. So I was wondering, I walked in here and this, uh, this doesn't look like it'd be where you know, Kurt would have sat. I've seen pictures of it. You can tell in this room, you can tell that it would be Kurt and Courtney's room. Due to the size and the huge walk-in closet, I think two people and Francis are gonna be in yeah. here. So there's another photo right here between these two doors is where they had their bed. It was like a wrought iron bed, the headboard. So it's facing that? The, so the bed? It's facing us. So if they're oh, laying in bed, their feet would be where right, we're standing right now. Wow. And then this is the closet where Kurt Cobain would lock himself in with his guitar and a little amp. And he would write some of the songs for the Inutero album. In this very closet. Isn't that crazy? Right? It's insane that this house is still Yeah, there. and to think that. Someone I love is someone you love, I think. Uh, just to, to know that he recorded, I mean, sorry, wrote and played right in this little room. I can't say it's crazy and it's wild enough. I can't right. say it enough that I'm staying in this closet. Wow. Isn't that wild? What do you think, Michael? This is cool. We glad we did this. Yeah. Now I'm going to go see the uh, Nirvana bathroom. 
Yeah. I wouldn't say it's too far off, probably, though. <laughs> they were living rough for a while, so sadly. I wonder if at any given time he would put his musical instruments in this bathtub. <laughs> he liked to use bathtubs as safes. Right? It's possible. The shower. It's funny, when I see it at Kurt Cobain's house in Olympia, people made fun of me for recording the shower. They said, oh, what, what's the big interest in recording the shower? I'm like, I don't know, it's a shower. Kurt Cobain right. was here. Someday the shower may not be here. Exactly, we're documenting it. We walk around here on the main floor. That's where we were looking down before. There's a big open area sitting room. I'm imagining that this probably here would have been the kitchen due to the outlets that I'm seeing on the wall. They look like they're industrial, like kitchen outlets, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, there's no sink. Well, wait, no, this would have been the kitchen. Walk in, there's a kitchen right here. Well, there's pipes. So yeah, I guess maybe this would have been the kitchen. Yeah, fridge. You can see on the wall, dish, garbage disposal. So this was the kitchen. This is the sitting room. This is a little sun room. This is a little room with a really cool thing here. And then the giant open room. Got it right here. Do I open it? Do I? I do. I need to ask Michael a question when he comes back out. And here he comes. Front room. Uh, Michael, I brought sandwiches for a day, but I forgot mustard. Do you think we're good? Should we? I don't know. Is it pretty good It is not. It looks like Hunt's. I believe. Oh, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a Ralph's. It's a Ralph's. <laughs> it's a Ralph's. No, thank you. <laughs> Just in case. Nope. Rock and roll Ralph's. And yes, stars get mail too. It's a mailman all the way up here. I would cry every time I had to start that. God bless that man. That's a tough job. That is a tough job. But I want to say, and I want to say it like this, because Michael from Grim Life, <laughs> thank you for joining me on this. This was awesome. Was this awesome? This was phenomenal. And I just noticed this. I don't know if you can see this or if it's going to translate on camera. Oh, the gold? The gold leaf. Yeah. This is like, it's a... Gold, yeah, that's that really cool. That looks good. They're, they're, oh, they're on all of them. Right? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, they're on all of them. It's, a, I mean, I would live here if I could fix it up, if I could afford to. Man, if I... Hit that PayPal uh, Patreon link, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, help, a, help me out. All right, so Grim Life Collective, I'm learning. I'm learning this. I'm yes, getting it down. It's always about the spooky hands. Yeah. Every time that we do a photo with somebody, yeah, you do we that. We always do the spooky hands. And somebody said that my hands should have a YouTube channel of their own. <laughs> people like that. Stuff. People watch like people eat food. People will watch hands do stuff. You know, hand model. get us get a second channel, like George Costanza. Get a second channel. But you know, I used to always <laughs> I used to always talk 
with my fingers a lot on camera and then I've, I've and that's the way I talk in real life I'm like a lot of this so I've, I toned it down because apparently gave people motion sickness so sorry all right Michael this is awesome we're going somewhere else you're making a big video I'm making a couple of videos out of this this is what I do when I, I, I give oh, a, a pound yeah nobody ever nobody ever pounds sorry. back nobody ever pounds me oh well <laughs> peace <laughs> out <laughs>